Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone. We are very happy to have this chance to give our video presentation. First of all, we would like to thank our course teacher, Muhammad Nahyanuddin, to give us this opportunity. Today, we will share our presentation with you, and this presentation is related to our very first Tango project. For two long months, the two of us had to solve our problems without sleeping for many nights. As a result, we have completed this small project. So, let's start. Let me introduce the outline first. My presentation will be given in two parts. In the beginning part, we would like to introduce ourselves and our project. In the next part, we will describe our website. Well, let's move on the first part. Introduction. My name is Muhammad Amimul Ehsan and my teammate is Shamaun Nabi. Currently, we are studying in University of Asia Pacific. Our website is an e-commerce type website and its name is WFG Gaming Shop. Here, customers can buy games for money as well as gaming accessories. For building this project, we use Zango framework in Python programming language. We have tried to keep our website as secure as possible as well as user-friendly so that users do not have a problem to understand. So, let's move on to the next part. Describe our website. Yeah, this is the homepage of our website. There is a nav bar at the top, which make it easy to access different pages. There's a slider in between, which will show the various top-rated games of our website. A user must register before buying any games or accessories. We have a sign-up page for that on our website. So let's go to the sign-up page. Well, in order to register, the user has to give his first name. Let's say it could be um, WFG and the last name could be Gaming Shop. Okay, so our verified email would be WFG at the rate gmail.com. Multiple accounts can be opened with the same mail. Well, you also need to enter an eight-digit password, and the password and retype password must be the same. Let's say if I write here one two three four five six seven eight, and I type retype password as a one two three four five six. If I continue the process, there will be uh, error message will show and in the top of the screen. Yeah, there it is. Hey, your password not matched. So let's look another shot. Our password could be WFG12345. And retype password must be the same. So WFG12345. Password will be encrypted after registration. No one can able to see it. User will be able, able to set a display picture for their profile. Otherwise, a default picture will be set. Let's click choose file and set a picture for our account. Let's click. Uh, okay, so here it is. Uh, finally, we have to end, you, in order to complete the registration, we have to accept the terms and conditions. So let's click the create account button. So our account has been created. So uh, you have to enter the registered mail and password to log in our website. If any of them is wrong, then an error message will be shown on the screen. So if our, ma our mail was wfg at the rate gmail.com. Yeah, and password was wfg12345. So let's click login button. Yeah, here it is. So I will request my teammate Shamon Nobi to describe the next part to you guys. I thank him in advance for that. Okay, thank you, Mayor. So after complete registration and login process, now there is the option profile, where user can visit his profile and also edit his profile. So here is the icon to edit his profile click and go to the edit page okay now we can see user can edit his first name last name and also can add extra information like phone number okay for simplicity we are going to change his first name and last name only 
so first name wbg okay and the last name should be shop okay wbg 50 gaming let's click on update profile okay now go to the profile page again so we can see his profile is updated now let's go to our store so here we can see all gaming products are available here and the user can buy products from here and the left corner uh, there is a category section where user can choose games by category like action like racing etc okay now click on add to cart button and add item on cart so let's click add to cart add to cart so item added on the cart so we can see that how many items is added on the cart like let's see added another one three items are added another one and the four items are added so now if user want to increase or decrease his products this option is also available here uh, let's increase this one okay two item added this one also two item added okay now let's remove this one minus okay three items okay now go to the cart page here user can see the products which recently added here user can see products image name quantity price and the total price now click on checkout to order here user have to give information of his address and phone and submit to confirm order let's say address 0170000 something like that and click on confirm order now all the items removed from the cart section now go to the order page and user can see order item status so here we can see the products status are pending now the shopkeeper part sorry shop owner part okay the shop owner entered his database and check on the status option and save so let's go to our database and check orders okay these are the order items okay let's <coughs> complete these orders click on and status option let's check it one and then save okay let's check another one status save now come to the user part again user can see his product status which is completed but before this uh, let's re refresh okay these two items are completed that means the product is delivered and there is also another option like contact so user can contact the shop owner and give a feedback so this is our project so if you need the source code check out description thank you